Mexico, you will learn how to apply pictures and text to templates on the Yearbook Avenue um, pages. First thing we're going to do is log into Yearbook Avenue, go to Create, Page Ladder, and navigate to the page that has been assigned to you. I'm going to go down here. Okay, Book Club. Let's say these pages have been assigned to me. I click on the Book Club thumbnails and the editor will open up. And in the previous video, you learned how to apply a pre-existing template to this background by going to the Design uh, tab, going to My Templates, and choosing the template that looks good to you. And I think we chose this one. And we want to make sure that we keep the existing content. There we go. Now. We have a blank template that has picture holders and it has text boxes. How do we get pictures into the picture holders? We click on the Images tab and browse to the correct category. So we're under Clip Art. Let's say we're under Activity, GSS, let's say... Well, let's just choose music since we don't have a book club category now. So we've chosen the correct category, even though it's not the correct category. And we see that there are pictures here. A green check means they've already been used somewhere in the yearbook. Now, this one hasn't been used yet, so I'm going to drag it into a placeholder and let go. And the picture appears. Now you can move this picture, you can resize it, you can rotate it, just like you can in a Word document. So that is how you apply pictures um, into your template. Now, what if you're, there are pictures that aren't in your images area? How do you get those into the yearbook? Well, this requires you to navigate away from the page. So I'm going to click on Go to Image Library. And in the image library, you'll be able to upload pictures that can then be dragged into the yearbook pages. So now we're in the image library. I'm going to open up the activity tab, GSS, and I'm going to see if there's a category that exists for my, uh, my page. And I don't see anything that's appropriate, so I'm going to create a new folder by clicking on GSS, click on New, and I'll call it Book Club. And there we go. Now we have a book club, and we need to populate this book club folder with images. So I click on book club, click on upload, click on add files, and just for grins, even though this has nothing to do with a book, I'm going to click on the picture, open it, and you can see it will load into... Um, into the folder. The bigger the picture the better because small size pictures will not enlarge in the yearbook. In fact the yearbook won't the yearbook website won't allow you to enlarge small pictures because they want the quality to be good. So if you have a four megabyte picture that is fine. Go ahead and upload it to the yearbook. We're not worried about taking up space. Once the picture has been uploaded you can go back to the page ladder. You can go back to the page that has been assigned to you. Again, it takes a minute sometimes to open up that page. And we go to the Images tab. We look for the GSS Book Club. Under activity, there it is, notebook week, where is book club, here it is. And there's the picture. Drag it in, let go, boom, we're done. Now, text, how do you edit text 
on a page, you just click the text box, click the text box, and then just like Word, you can highlight text and delete it. There we go, we delete the text, and you can start typing in the box. If the font's too small, that shouldn't be an issue. You can highlight the text, you go to Format, change the font to something like uh, 18, and then the text will look bigger. And that is how you add pictures and text to a template.